Brittany and pretended to be an alien? <laughs> she was so scared. <laughs> I was not. You fainted. I did not. I have video proof. You better not have posted that anywhere. Relax. <laughs> I'm not a monster. But I have recorded uh, most of my pranks. I love to rewatch. Uh, wanna watch them with me? <laughs> no. Well, it's your loss. I'm gonna watch them downstairs on the TV. Uh, go right ahead, you little twerp. Uh, seriously, he is so annoying. Yeah, but what do you want to do about it? It's our brother, and we, we have to love him. Uh, why do we even keep talking to him? He's a jerk. Yes, but most of it he doesn't do on purpose. It's his personality and sense of humor. They just, they don't match ours. Well, that doesn't answer my question. Well, he's your friend and my brother. Huh. Let's just ignore him. Like you used to do with me? Exactly. Uh, only on purpose and uh, not accidentally. I love it. I, I don't want to ignore him. We're all in, Jeanette. I don't think it's a good idea, but it's four to one. Yup, you're outvoted. <sighs> Fine. This will teach Alvin a lesson. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> I should go and tell the chip as I, <laughs> I finished watching. <laughs> and it was awesome. <laughs> Hey, girls! I finished watching it! Oh, and it was awesome! Girls! Hey, do you think I should change my hair color? Or something? I think your natural hair color looks pretty. Um, is that your natural hair color? Hello? Hello! <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Um, what time does the movie air that we wanted to watch? Oh, uh, like 8.15? Can I watch it with you? C can I? What, what movie is it? Can't you even hear me? Sure, Eleanor. It's just a pain that we have to watch it on a laptop. It would have been so much better just watching it on the TV at the chipmunk's house. But I have no interest in seeing Alvin. I'm right here! You should see me by now! He's such an immature brat. Am I wearing Simon's invisibility suit? Seriously, I'm right here! I gotta talk to Simon, or Theodore, or, or a doctor, or scientist, someone! Hey, guys, we, we gotta talk. <laughs> I will miss him. <laughs> what? M miss, miss who? He, he was too young, Simon. I, I know, Theodore, I, I, I know. But he will always be an, an important part of this family. Oh no, Dad! But you shouldn't have put Talking Teddy into the washing machine. I, I just wanted to clean him up. Well, toys don't belong in the wash. They get ruined. Especially toys with small speakers in it. I, I didn't know. We'll just have to get you a new Talking Teddy. <sighs> okay. Dave! Dave! Listen to me! Thank you for the call. It, it, it's been really hard to move on. We've been through a lot. Dave! I, I need to talk to you! Some, something really weird is going on! <gasps> Dave? What is going on? Am, am I a ghost? But, but that means I, I'm dead. Oh, no, but, but that can't be. Can it? Why am I still here? Wait, I, I was mean to the guys. Oh, I shouldn't have pranked them and then laughed. I feel so awful. Maybe that's why I'm still here. Am I going to wander the earth forever for that? I didn't mean it. I have to apologize, even though they can't hear me. But I have to let this out of my soul. Literally, gotta go to Simon and Theodore. Do you think the Chip Hats will miss him too? H how do you think they're gonna react? Well, uh, 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 I I'm sure they'll miss him. Oh no, the Chipettes don't even know it yet. Oh, well, anyway, they will know it sooner or later. Theodore, 
I'm sorry I always trick you into doing something I want you to do. It's not okay. And I'm really sorry. Simon, I, I, I'm sorry I always snoop around and sneak into your lab. Phew, this does feel better. <laughs> wow. Should I go and tell the Chipettes? Well, uh, maybe we should tell them after we record the monk cast. Good thinking, Simon. At least they won't cry in front of the camera. I'll call them and tell them to come over. And I will be there. I know you won't see me or hear me, but I will be there. This one last monk cast. everyone, and welcome to the Monkcast. Yeah, hi. Oh wait, you can't hear me. Or see me. Oh. And guys, today we have an awesome review for you guys. I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, that should be interesting. Uh, Eleanor, sorry I was ignoring you and sometimes I uh, forgot your name. You deserve better. I, I wish I was less of a jerk. Roll it! Thanks, Chipmunks. And today we're going to be looking at this, which is something we haven't reviewed yet on the show, but we've had for a while in the sort of collection. This is a figure, or a doll if you wish, it's kind of a big figure, of Dave, which came with the Torvan from the 80s. Basically, it's a standalone figure, but also, of course, it's with the set as well. So, taking a look at this figure, the face does somewhat resemble Dave, I suppose. It's a very interesting likeness of Dave and this one is actually covered in a layer of dust because it's been uh, sat on the, on the uh, shelf so long. But taking a look, he's actually wearing real clothes which is put together at the top with this really old pop button right there at the top. But you can also tell that underneath he actually has some kind of like abs and things like that but that's just to give him definition through the jacket or the jumper or the sweater which actually works really well. The trousers, again, or the pants, are a good, nice material, which feels like the actual pants that he would wear um, if it was a full-sized person, something that on his backside there. And again, it gives definition through the trousers as well, but we won't go into that much detail. The shoes are part of the figure itself and are just these white trainers, which kind of resemble somewhat of Converse or something like that, but they're just plain white. Looking at articulation, this figure, of course, being really old, has some very interesting articulation. He has somewhat of metal grips going through the inside skeleton of the actual figure. So, when you move him, you can sort of hear a grindy metal kind of sound. It makes the figure kind of feel vintage in a way. But, the articulation isn't that bad. Um, sometimes you get confused about where his articulation points are because of the clothes, but he can move his arm up like this and like that. So I won't go into the degrees of, of, um, of articulation because you guys, are, I don't want to insult your intelligence. But of course he has articulation in the wrists as well. Sort of, there we go, without twisting the arm around as well. But there his hand twists around. It's kind of in a odd position, but that's because he had accessories to hold with the van and in that hand as well. And his waist also articulates as well, like that. As you can see, it's jointed there. And as you would expect, his legs move up and his feet go like that as well. So it's quite articulated. He can sort of do that, which is nice. It's a really nice um, articulated figure. Really nicely articulated figure, even. And also his head will move. But his head is much softer than uh, you would expect it to be. And his head is kind of just fakely attached to the body as well. And it's a nice likeness of Dave, like I've said already. But what the, the biggest likeness is, of course, the actual outfit he's wearing. It's very similar to the current version of Dave and the older version of Dave wearing the blue sort of hoodie, which is really nice. Anyway, that's all I have to say about this figure. It's really nice. It sits well. It stands well. And it's a nice addition to anyone's collection to have a figure of Dave. So, back to you, Chipmunks. We hope you enjoyed that. 
Well, moving straight along, we're going to go to our fan mail section of our show. Who would like to read out the first piece? I would, if, you know, I could. May I? Sure, just pick one. Uh, all right, uh, let's see. My piece of fan mail is from Evie's Workshop. Janet, do you like Harry Potter? Pretty sure that's supposed to say Jeanette. Oh, a repeat question. I answered this before, but yeah, I really like Harry Potter. I do like the movies, however, I prefer the books. I prefer the books to the movies in general, too. Movies just can't give as much detail. Everything is condensed. Yeah, agreed. A lot of Harry Potter film watchers don't know who Peeves is. Nerd alert! Oh yeah, well, I think the Captain Underpants movie was as good as the book. Not everyone cares because no one can hear me anyway. All right, who's next? Um, how about you, Eleanor? Thanks, Brett. I am surprised that you did learn your lesson. <laughs> yeah, we really made you feel bad before. Sorry about that. It's okay, sis. Anyway, this next fan mail is from... Sodi Contradicts Herself. Hey guys, how are you? I have a question for Simon. Simon, in the episode Wacky Wednesday, it was said that you apparently had a crush on your science teacher. Is that still actually true? Well, I, I think I'll leave that a mystery. <laughs> Perhaps I did. Perhaps Alvin misinterpreted my respect for her as love. Sorry, sorry. I, 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 I did have very high respect for her. Oh uh, yeah? As big as your respect for Jeanette? Um, I, I think you could say it that way. Okay then. There you have it. Simon has a crush on his science teacher. No, no, I didn't. You're in denial. No, no, I'm not. There's a difference between infatuation and respect. <laughs> no wonder people watch this show. It's hilarious. Maybe you had a crush and respected her. This discussion is over. Theodore, please read out the next fan mail. Uh, uh, all right, all right. It's from The Unexpected. Again. I love Eleanor and her sarcasm. Reminds her of me. Uh, I, I got a question for the chipmunks and the chip hats. In the movie The Chipmunk Adventure, did you guys receive the $100,000 you were promised? I'm loving the current season 10. Please answer. Haven't we read this one before? Oh yeah, but you know, uh, the filing system behind this show is terrible. Nope, we never got the money, even though we won the race. You won? You know what? I'm not going to have this discussion with you again because... Hey, who am I talking to? She can't even hear me anyway. But we were left with a great adventure and with great memories. And that's priceless. Oh yeah, the money would have made it better. Who's next? You should go, Brittany. All right. My piece of fan mail is from Forget Me Not. Uh, hi, I got a question for Eleanor. Which one you like better, sports or food? Oh, a tough choice. I think I like both of them as equal as each other. I also like a lot of other things. For me, it's food. Yeah, definitely food. Yeah, Theodore, we know that. I, I was just, uh, I was just reminding everyone. Oh, <laughs> you don't need to do that, Theodore. I guess it's my turn now. Oh, well, it's almost over. Jeanette, I, I, I'm really sorry to tell you that the cayenne pepper was fairy dust. Sorry I forced you to distract Simon. It wasn't okay. You know I always respected you, and you always respected me. And I value your friendship. Can we talk to him already? Read your fan mail, Jeanette. Fine. It's from School Make You Laugh. Hi, chipmunks and chipettes. Simon, you are my favorite chipmunk. I have a question. Do you guys know Paw Patrol? And who is your favorite character? Ryder, 10 years old, Marshall, and the rest of that. Well, uh, I, I don't watch it. I, I was under the impression it was for children, which doesn't mean it's childish to watch. I, I respect it, and I'm glad that you find enjoyment in it. Some people might say that us chipmunks are just for children, but... That, that, that's their opinion. It, it's okay to watch and enjoy something that's designed for a younger audience. It doesn't make you childish. I, I like it. I, I, I've seen it a few times. It's pretty good. M my favorite character is Rubble. 
I've watched it with Theodore. And my favorite character isn't one that you listed. It's Everest. She's pretty cool. Pun intended. <laughs> I get it, cause she's an ice rescue pup. <laughs> Can we move on now? It's, it's over. Brit, 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 Br Brittany. I I'm sorry for every single prank I've done on you. I'm sorry for every mean comment, for everything mean I did. I regret a lot of things in my life. But I, I think I will always regret that I never told you that I- Alvin, read your fan mail. Do you seriously think you're dead? <laughs> oh my gosh, it worked! <laughs> oh God, I'm alive! Oh, he gave me another chance. No. No, Alvin, he didn't give you it. You were alive the whole time. But, but that, that means you were ignoring me on purpose? Yes. <sighs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I love you guys. I'm going to try and be a better monk from now on. No more pranks. No more being a jerk. Monk's honor. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You don't have to change that much. Yes. Yes, you do. No, no, he doesn't. I can try. Good. Now read your mail of the fan variety. All right, all right. It's from uh, Derek Stuff. Alvin, I dare you to fart in Brittany's face. Please, uh, if you can't, then you're not cool. Uh, how does farting in Brittany's face make me cool? I'm so confused right now. You tried to fart on Simon before. No. I threatened to fart on Simon. I didn't actually do it. No, no, no. You threatened to fart on me again. You already did it previously, remember? No, my memory is terrible. Uh, so, the answer to this fan mail, you won't do it? Nope. And I think I'm cooler that way. Wow. Not saying I don't think farts are funny, but I'm not gonna fart on my friend. I don't even fart on my brothers a anymore. I've replaced that with a flying squirrel attack! Alvin, don't you dare. But I am glad to hear that. Sort of. Are you sure you won't? Positive. I'm not that rude. Good. So that finishes our episode. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. And by the way, Alvin, what was that last thing you wanted to tell me? Brett, I won't tell you. No, I, I will tell you, but over my dead body! <laughs> Alvin! <laughs> you can yell all you want. You aren't getting it out of me. That's it for today, guys. Like the video and subscribe and share. And as always, keep on monkin'. Whoa, did you throw something? Yeah.